The Isle of Man TT is known for many things. John McGuinness, 130 mile per hour laps, and perhaps the most famous landlady on the Isle of Man, Rosie Christian of the Sylvie Glen Hotel. Rosie, how's TT been this year so far? I think it's been a lot busier than it's been for a long time. There's far more people over during practice week. Now, I haven't seen people like that for years. Yeah. Have you met some real interesting characters this TT? You generally seem to get some really good people in this pub. Sulby Glen is always full of interesting characters for one reason or another. Um, yeah, we've got our usual German friends back. We've got French guests, Italian. We've even got Japanese guests stepping with us. Have you seen many new people coming over this TT? Yes, there's lots of TT virgins about. <laughs> and how are they finding the atmosphere? Has the weather ruined it for them at all? I mean, it's been unprecedented, really, how bad it's been. It has been bad, and obviously there's a few dampened spirits, but overall I think they've enjoyed the atmosphere. And to be honest with you, there seems to be plenty going on for them to go to go and see. It's not just the races. Like the, the museums, they're enthralled with the museums and actually getting up to the grandstand and be able to walk around and meet people. So, no, I don't think it's dampened their spirits at all. I still think they've really enjoyed it. And the ones that I've been talking to just can't wait to get back again. What's it like for you running a business over on the island during TT? Is it busier? Is it bigger than ever? No, it's not busy at all. I spend most of the time sat outside talking to people. <laughs> it's the busiest two weeks of the year. And I do 16 hours a day in the kitchen with the odd time out to meet people. But lots of my local guests know where the kitchen is and pop their head in through the kitchen window to say hello or give us a hug as we're going out with a meal. You know, anything, anything to hold you up. <laughs> Now, what's it like this time of year as well? I mean, your son is um, one of the most famous sidecar passengers in the TC history. What's it like um, 16 hour days here, knowing that he's out on the course? Can you get to the grandstand to wave him off at all? Unfortunately, no. And that, that is a very big part of TT that it hurts me that I can't be there with him. Um, I don't know if you know, he's in hospital at the moment. And that's when it comes home to you that you're so you're so near, but you're so far away and, and isolated from him. You can't get there to wave him off. I go out to the front, I watch it on live time, and then as he's coming to Blackbridge, I go out the front and see him through. And it's funny that little bit outside the front door is so important. The other 37 miles, I just try and block out. I know he's gone through that quarter of a mile OK. Nobody speaks to me when the race is on. I just plough into my work and the live time and, and that's it. And yesterday, listening to him speak on the interview after the races, it come home to me what a lot of mothers must be feeling when they get that phone call. It's a horrible phone call to get. But on the good side, Daniel is now coming out of hospital this afternoon and has been cleared fit for racing. So, happy for him, and my worries start again tomorrow. Does it ever get any easier at all watching him? It never gets easier. In fact, I think it gets harder. Um, if you look round here at the photographs in the pub, the rule we have in the Sulby Glen is you only get your photo on the wall if you bring it in yourself and you sign it. And I look round and I remember these lads coming in with their photo, so pleased to have it put up, and they're no longer with us. And that's the bad side. But it's a bad side to everything, isn't it? It's a bad, bad side in life. It's so very selfish, but from my point of view, it's all right for somebody else's son. It's not all right for mine. But on the other side of the coin, when he comes in and stands on that podium, there's nobody prouder than me.